Hello and welcome Horror Diaries Official. Today, a story is about Shades of Death. Shades of Death from in Warren County, New Jersey, is said to be haunted. It is near, it is located near Jenny, John State Forest and Coast Lake. In the 1990s, Two people wrote to Weird and J Magazine, claiming they had found strange and mysterious colorings scattered along the road. Nobody knows for sure how Shades of Death Road got its eerie name. Some say that years ago, the trees grew over the road, forming a natural canopy that didn't let any light. During the middle of the day, the road would be almost as dark as night. Robbers and bandits would hide in the shadows of the trees on either side of the road, laying the bait for victims. When a traveller came along, the thieves would spring out of the darkness and cut their door. Then they would drop them and make off with their weapons. The local people would sometimes take revenge against these robbers by lynching them and leaving their dead bodies hanging from the trees as a warning to others. Today, they say that the vines grow. The vines growing on the trees look like hanging from the branches. According to legend, in the 1920s and 1930s there were a number of British murders. That took place along, along this road. One man was a tinker, a pot and handsome man who that that was. He and his horse were murdered and their bodies were discarded by the side of the road. They say that as night, you can still hear his pots and pans rattling in the wind. Another man was found dead in his car. He had been hit over the head with a tire jam and his money was stolen. There was also a woman who beheaded her husband and then buried the head and body on the sides of the road. A local resident named Wilkins was shot and his cups was buried in the mud pile. His murder was never sword. Shades of death though is full of dangerous twists and turns. Many people say that the road is a black spot for fucking car accidents. It's believed that the reflective guard rails along the road became all the spots where people had been killed in car crashes. Another legend is about a ghost who is a nine-year-old girl walking up and down the side of the road at night. Rumor has it if you should stop your car and she sees you, you will come up to your car and Ask you one question, which is where her parents are. If you do not answer her or if you drive away, they say you will die in 40 days. You will give her an answer if you don't want to know. Just point of some direction which you on her way. Just point off in some direction and she will be on her way. No one knows what happened to her, but it is suspected that she was kidnapped from her parents and killed right there on sheds of Death Road. Another murder that supposedly occurred here was the murder of a 15 year old girl. Apparently, she was dating. Lot of mental problems. One night, he 
all together have fun to go hugging the most when they were deep in the forest. He attacked the girl. Her friend managed to get away and tried to bring help. By the time she came back, the police, it was too late. The boy had already assaulted the girl and stabbed her to death. Still serving a life sentence. In the 1990s, two people who visited shades of death row found hundreds of Polaroid photographs scattered along the road and nearby woods. They gathered up the photos and contacted Phil and Jay Manson. They were tremendous of Polaroids were old and just completely creepy. They became known as the shades of death Polaroids and the place where they were found was called a Polaroid trial. Most of the disturbing images show an unheard and somewhat difficult to identify line on some sort of map. None of them were smiling and some of them did not appear to be alive. There were rumors that a serial killer in the area took pictures of women just before he murdered him. Local police began an investigation but the photos disappeared shortly afterwards. There are also Found out where she was, lived along shades of death road. According to the legend, they drive up and down in a black truck. An attack and the moon stops on the road. Not long ago, two students were driving along the road when their cars stopped working. They saw a large black truck coming towards them at a rapid place at a rapid pace so they hid behind trees a big man wearing combat boots carrying a baseball bat got out of the truck as they forced he walked up to the car and said aloud who is on my road were frightened and started to run through the woods. They managed to hide behind an old abandoned cabin in the woods. Calling in the darkness, they waited for hours until they thought the man had left. Eventually, they were about to come out of the hiding places when they heard footsteps and a voice said that's what happens when you are on my road the terrified students waited until morning before they went back to the car they found the vehicle had a huge dent on the side and there was a note stuck to the windshield that road i see you No, you should not visit the shades of death row because some parts of it are private property and you could be arrested for trespassing 